السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abundantly the way he deserves to be praised We ask Allah to exalt the mention, grant peace and send his blessings and salutations upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brothers and sisters, it's been a while since I've done one of these reaction videos and uh, even though there's plenty of content that actually triggers uh, a reaction, eh, I've been a little bit preoccupied. But uh, this particular video that I came across uh, really uh, brought back some old memories and uh, it gave me an opportunity to mention and reiterate some of the pains and challenges that we have faced in the past. Uh, with certain entities and certain organizations and certain groups of people and let's just call them as they are certain sects um, and even though we try to make amendments uh, and we trying to make uh, peace and we try to uh, see eye to eye it is very unfortunate and sad that uh, some of these brothers are just <laughs> just don't want they don't understand and they don't want to understand um, but anyways, let's look together at a video uh, warning against me. The video uh, called Warning Against Abu Mus'ab, One Way to Paradise by a channel called uh, Drop Droplets of Ilm. I think it's an appropriate name for that channel. It's like Droplets of Ilm or Drops of Ilm because that's, that's all that there is over there. There's actually zero ilm. It's just one of those typical... Uh, uh, poorly produced videos uh, that that are, are comical, least to say. They're absolutely comical. And you will see the connection that this brother tries to make in order to uh, warn against me is something that is just mind-boggling. Because like, if you want to warn against me, you say, uh, for example, Abu Mus'ab believes the Quran is created. Uh, Abu Mus'ab denies Allah is above his throne. Abu Mus'ab uh, teaches, you know, uh, false uh, aqidah, false manhaj. Uh, Abu Mus'ab is a mubtadi'ah. He's involved with bid'ah. And you have to bring something about uh, what Abu Mus'ab is doing, uh, not what others are doing that Abu Mus'ab agrees with. Because if we were to open this door, then even the people that you will use to substantiate your claim, they have people that have said something about them. And then if that is the case, then, then they are to be warned against, then there's no more, uh, there's no one upon the way of the Salaf anymore at, at this rate. So um, this brother encourages you to check out the uh, other videos so that you could get absolutely no knowledge from them. In those videos, we have mentioned the principles of the manage of the Salaf and evidences from the scholars. Which will, help you which will help you in understanding this video or even future videos, inshallah. No, Habibi. I'm sorry, brother, but that did not work and that does not work. You're not explaining anything about the manhaj of the Salaf or the evidences from the scholars. You're doing what, what a, lot of people, a lot of people like you have been doing for many years, which is they, they get a statement of a brother, they get a statement of a brother, and then they get a statement of the Sheikh, and the Sheikh is speaking about something completely different than what the brother is saying, and they say, the Sheikh Fozan refutes Abdurrahman Hassan as we will see it's like yo <laughs> Sheikh Mosai was speaking about Abdurrahman Hassan nor was he addressing that particular point like you can't be like you can't be sitting like this man you can't be that's like kindergarten stuff Akhi. come on now anyways anyways this needs a sip of coffee Bismillah uh -huh. don't jump into wrong conclusions wow at least I own something in this world Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen I own one way to paradise whoo and um, you're warned, he's, I'm being warned against. At least he got my name right. I appreciate it, Akhi Barakallah Fiqh. Zakallah Khair, you, you included my kunya, my proper, this proper spelling of my name, first name and last name, because I've had people don't even bother giving me the right name. So I'm, I'm good, I'm good with the fact that you got everything. So far, everything is on point and accurate, mashallah, tabarakallah. But for how long, Habibi? He has uh, retracted from some wrong views and from promoting devious in the past. However, this does not mean that one can start being lenient or being heedless when it comes to delicate matters in Islam. Oh, okay. So I guess any kind of rectif rectification I've done in the past did not redeem. It did not redeem me with those brothers. Those brothers, you know who they are and how they are. Let's see what the brother got to say. 
play. Okay. And we should always be careful. Fear Allah and ask him for guidance because if our... In Oops. Anyways. That was too fast. Okay, you need to make the video a little bit slower. Abu Mus'ab promotes slash praises Abdurrahman Hassan and his academy channel Al Madrasatu Al Umariya. So my first crime is Abdurrahman Hassan. So you would say, whoa, what is wrong with Abdurrahman Hassan? Well, what is wrong with Abdurrahman Hassan uh, is the same thing that is wrong with Muhammad Tim Humble, which is the same thing that is wrong with me, is that we're not part of their group. That's it. That's it. Otherwise, those claims that they will bring forth are uh, worthless claims. Uh, claims that don't, uh, they don't count in, in a court of law. They don't count anywhere for this matter. For example, look at this, look at the, look at the sequence of, of uh, the story. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Watch. So first of all, my biggest problem or one of my, the reason why you sh I should be warned against is because I promote Abdurrahman Hassan. Not Hamza Yusuf, not Yasser Qadi. Uh, not Suhaib Web, you know, not Omar Suleiman, no, Abdurrahman Hassan, a Salafi student of knowledge, who just doesn't agree with them, like I don't agree with them on the matters that they don't agree about within themselves, and that soon, sooner or later someone will come out from them warning against them about them on those, so, on those same matters. Sounds familiar? Tayyip. I want to join Amal Academy, inshallah. Oh, What's look, your that's me. We look the same. I happen to be wearing the same shirt. You know, I love this shirt. Is it good to? Yes, absolutely. Join Amal Academy with your eyes closed. Aha. Uh -huh. In another video, oh, I'll last. Yeah, let's. I'm sorry. Plans Play. parents to join Amal Academy. You want the parents to join, or you want the parents to allow you to join? <laughs> Let them talk to me. Let them talk to me. And I will convince him on your behalf, inshallah. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like that. So, Masha, I love the fact that those brothers are diligent. Is that the word? Diligent? They actually go and check, uh, you know, they do like a background check on you. <laughs> the brother went on Twitter. He went on Twitter and he confirmed that I follow Abdurrahman Hassan on Twitter. So that is like now doubling down, me doubling down on my crime. Not only did I tell the people verbally that yes, join, I will even speak to your parents to join Amal. I also follow him on Twitter. For those who don't know, this is where it gets really cute. Ah, so you might be wondering, rightfully, what is wrong with Abdurrahman Hassan? I have never listened to a recording of Hamza Yusuf. I've never listened to it. I don't know him. Personally, I have no knowledge of him. If Yusuf comes up to me, even that though Hamza Yusuf is what? He's a Sufi. And he does not call what the Sunnah calls to. And he's far off what the Sunnah calls to. Okay. But I don't listen to Hamza Yusuf. Personally, I don't even listen to him. I don't know of him, to be honest. If a brother comes up to me and he talks to me about Hamza Yusuf, is it ghiba or is it not? And I don't listen to him. It's ghiba. Backbiting. Look, a clear like the sun. The, the, the Sheikh, the Sheikh Abdurrahman Hassan, or this is going to offend those guys too much, the Ustad, not even an Ustad, the uh, brother. Maybe the, maybe the term brother might not even be, uh, uh, he might not be entitled to the term brother by these guys, by the way. Some of these guys are so vile and so violent and so rough and tough and ruggedized that even the term brother may not be befitting. They say this innovator, I should say, according to them, this innovator, this is the only time they feel satisfied in the heart. Uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman Hassan is saying, clearly as per the context, that if this is not in the context of warning the people, Meaning, if, if he wanted to warn against uh, Hamza Yusuf about his bid'ah, there's absolutely no problem with that. There's no ghiba in that. Everybody knows that. Believe me, he knows that. And the brother making the video knows that. But the Sheikh is saying, if he was sitting and someone came and told him, started speaking to him about Hamza Yusuf. And, and this is not the context of warning against Hamza Yusuf. Because obviously the person speaking to him already knows. 
So it's a form of backbiting because when you warn against someone, there has to be the maslaha, there has to be the benefit of actually warning the people from the evil of this person so that they can take heed. If there's a context where that objective is not fulfilled, then this becomes only uh, idle talk and a form of backbiting that you're blameworthy for because there's absolutely no benefit behind it. And you will not find a single student of knowledge, let alone scholar, who will disagree on this point. This is why the brother will eventually bring Sheikh Fauzan's statement that has nothing to do with this. So there are two, there are two scenarios. Someone, someone uh, comes to me and says, uh, uh, or someone asks me about Hamza Yusuf, then it's, it's an obligation to say Hamza Yusuf is a mubtadi, he is a deviant person, it is haram for you to listen, listen to him. Scenario number one, which, which everybody agrees about from among the Salafis. Scenario number two, I'm sitting at home and then my son uh, uh, comes and starts talking about Hamza Yusuf and we all know that Hamza Yusuf is deviant and there's no benefit behind that. This is not a context of me now warning against him because it's already been, it's not, it, it's not the purpose of this discussion. It's just a form of backbiting. Then there's no benefit in that. And it is backbiting. Because the, the ghaya, al ghaya min at tahdir mafquda. The, the, the intent or the purpose behind the warning is absent, is missing. So what would be the benefit of just talking about it? How could you miss that? Even though he's from those who's allowed to be backbited. Why is he allowed? Because he's an innovator. And when a person is an innovator, it is allowed for him to be backbited due to the bigger maslaha that is there. Uh, he clearly telling you, when it's an innovator, you, uh, you can warn against him because of the bigger maslaha. There's what? A bigger maslaha. Because the bigger maslaha is in the picture, we will backbite him to defend the religion. For instance, the science of hadith. So and so is the hadith is not going to be taken. Why? Because he's a liar. This is what our religion was upon. The Prophet ﷺ, what did he do? He salawatullahi wa sallam and he warned against some people. So he's a, he's a munafiq. He's so and so. He's a backbiting. Why did he do it? To protect the sharia. Ah. So the people are known who's good, who's honest, to, who's calling to the hat, who's not calling to it. Now, Hamza Yusuf does not call to the hat. Black it. He's telling you Hamza Yusuf does not call to the hat. I don't listen to him. And one brother wants to come and tell me about Hamza Yusuf. I've never heard of him before. Let's just say I haven't. Now I don't even know much about him, to be honest. For a brother to have tea over, drink it, and we drink about Hamza Yusuf all day, and we chat about him, this now is not going to be considered as what? Siyana tali sharia. Because do I listen to him? Is there a reason for us to talk about it? At this moment, Kalla wallahi, there isn't. Ya yeah, akhwan, what, who, Balla alaykum, who disagrees with this? Who disagrees with this? If, if backbiting is haram, backbiting, let me, where do I put my hand here? Backbiting is haram. Hello? We agree? Imam al nawawi rahimahullah, mentions exceptions to backbiting. An exception to backbiting is to warn the Muslims against that innovator or that harm so that remains to be an exception if that exception now is not there if the fulfillment of that exception is not there then exception is gone then you go back to the asal that backbiting is haram you're asking what's the evidence for this principle the evidence for this principle is basic knowledge that you lack ya akhi you obviously have no idea what you're talking about nor are you qualified now had you been a legitimate decent student of knowledge you would have taken that very speech of abdurrahman hassan to a sheikh and said, Ya sheikh, he said, kada wa kada wa kada, and you let him hear it. Then when the sheikh responds to, Ab and that sheikh is from our mashayikh, responds to Abdurrahman Hassan, that this particular point is baseless, then you would have done justice. And we would say, okay, Zakallah khairan, barakallah feek, that we will speak to the sheikh, and we will, all be, we will all correct ourselves when this information comes to us from the senior, student, uh, senior scholars, or from the scholars, they don't even have to be uh, senior, from the scholars. Where have you done that? Where have you done that? You haven't. Because I don't listen to him. Yes, if I do listen to him, and you're telling me, Aki, Wallahi, I really love you for the sake of Allah, but Hamza Yusuf does not call what he calls the Sufism, and we don't believe in it. Don't listen to him. Oh, okay. Sorry, that's right. Now he's not a great deal <laughs> But if I don't listen to him, I don't know of him. It's clear and like I the sun. I have no idea of him. And we just, we just indulge in his reputation and his name. Aki, this is considered what, what? a ghibah. No, the reality. I'm really curious. What is that? Wait. 
I'm really curious. What is that supposed to mean? This bucket, uh, water uh, of, of bucket, yeah, yeah, butter bucket of water with the faucet on. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? What is the the wisdom behind this? Sahiba. Let's see now. Let's see Sheikh Fauzan's answer to this claim. Do you think that this is Sheikh Fauzan's Sheikh Fauzan's answer to this claim? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Listen to Sheikh Fauzan. Hafizahullah. تحذير من أهل الضلال هذا واجب تحذير من الأخطاء في أمور الدين هذا واجب same thing that عبد الرحمن حسن said ونصيحة للمسلمين وليس فيه غيبة again we all agree this is now the sheikh speaking about the exception to the rule of backbiting because that is from the مصلحة of the شريعة وصيانة الشرع إلى آخره the sheikh is saying what we all know what we all believe what we all preach what we all promote الغيبة إذا كان المقصود تنقص الشخص أما إذا كان المراد نصيحة المسلمين أما إذا كان المراد نصيحة المسلمين if the intent is to advise the Muslims where is that where is the intent يا أخي يا أخي فير الله where is the intent of نصيحة المسلمين when in the example عبد الرحمن حسن gave when someone comes to him and starts talking to him about عبد الرحمن حسن and he about حمزة يوسف and the sheikh saying let's say I don't know حمزة يوسف how does that now, how does that fall into the warning of the Muslims? How, in which way? If the, the person being spoken to does not know that innovator. And so there's no room for any warning. He doesn't know about him. He's not aware of him. How does that apply to this principle? It does not apply to this principle. You know it. I know it. Everybody who's watching this knows it. وبيان الخطأ للناس فهذا من النصيحة والدين النصيحة كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. And this is also what this warning is meant for to advise the Muslims and the ones being warned against. يا أخي يا أخي والله العظيم this is very poor very very poor performance on your part. This is horrible. يا أخي you getting a generic clip of Sheikh Fauzan and you applying it to a specific clip of عبد الرحمن حسن. Where is the fear of Allah when you guys make these videos? When you make these videos, what what kind of what kind of dancing the what kind of dance show does the Shaitan put in front of you and and display before you for you to be so gullible and so silly and to actually make this video and believe that you're getting closer to Allah. And you benefit in the Muslims by putting out a garbage video like this, where you're warning Muslims from a fellow Salafi da'i, all whilst uh, these 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 uh, wild innovators are running uh, wild, warning against the Salafis. You have this wicked Daniel. You have you have the uh, all of these Ikhwanis. You have all of these uh, 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 Westerners and modern and modernists. All and liberals, all these people are against the, the da'wah salafiyyah. And you have left those uh, fools for the most part. Or let's say you gave them their share of innovation, uh, of their warning. I'm sorry, you gave them their share of the warning. You, you, you still have time to dedicate it to a fellow salafi da'i who's calling the people to the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the salaf. And you just don't agree with them on a principle even though you're not qualified to disagree in the first place. Nor have you sat, nor have you brought any statements of the scholar. You got a video that is existing on YouTube and you use it against the, uh, the, the student of knowledge who knows far better than you what he's talking about. You see, this is how you divide in the ranks of the Salafis. This energy that you have, go do a, a video warning, benefiting the people for real. Really, this is sad. Wallah, this is sad. Especially when you're ignorant and you don't know what you're talking about. You did not bring any refutation. You brought a video against a video. That, that's ilm. You call this beneficial knowledge and you call this warning the Muslims. Come on, man. It's disgusting, man. I like the, the, the false taqwa. If someone claims that Abdurrahman Hassan has indeed retracted from this, then we accept it if there's evidence for it. Oh, mashallah, jazakallah khairan. There's nothing he needs to retract from. He didn't do anything wrong in the first place. And you didn't bring any statement of a sheikh that addresses his very specific speech. You brought a generic statement of Sheikh Fawzan that I could make, that, I could, that could apply to a million speeches out there. When someone says that, why are you warning against people? We say, look, Sheikh Fawzan said, that would apply. But for that specific one, it doesn't apply. I mean, these videos are just sad, man. 
However, retraction comes with words and deeds. In fact, very recently, one known stud was invited on his channel. Oh, the biggest innovator in the world, according to them, also Muhammad Tim Humble. Muhammad Tim Humble. Muhammad Tim Humble, Hafizahullah, this lovely, absolutely uh, 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 wonderful brother with his akhlaq and with his modesty and with his kindness and with his uh, knowledge and with his beautiful approach. Ya akhi uqsum billah. How did he make it to the list of, of the. Uh, of the Manhaj people along with me and Abdurrahman Hassan and others is beyond me. Oh, wait, you want to find out why? Here, it's coming. He's going to tell you why. Yeah. Yalla, yalla. Now, for those who do not know who Tim Humble is, this, you got to love the suspense. Like, Alfred Hitchcock couldn't do something this great. Right? First of all, Abdurrahman Hassan. You don't know who Abdurrahman Hassan is? Well, Abdurrahman Hassan said one time that if somebody came and told him Hamza Yusuf, then blah, blah, blah. Now, Tim Humble. What is Tim Humble's crime? He's a Halabi, and you might be thinking, wait a second, what is a Halabi? Because, you know, uh, Halab is a, it's a city in, 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 in Syria, in Sham, <laughs> and also they have Fusto Halabi, they have a pistachio that is from Halab, and there's all types of sweets that they use the term Halabi. So you would be like, wow, wait, like, wait a second. Uh, when you hear, you as an, as an ignorant person who does not know the, the amount of, the amount of sectarianism these brothers suffer from, when you hear the word Halabi, you might think, oh my God, is that like a, an Ash'ari, like a Maturidi, like a Jahmi? Like what exactly is a Halabi? You know, because this sounds like, it sounds like what, what the people of innovation call uh, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Wahhabi, Madkhali, right? Sounds familiar? Sounds familiar? Like, yo, why are you calling us Wahhabis and Madkhalis? We, we, we don't know what you're talking about. So you hear Halabi, you think Halabi, what, you know, uh, th that must mean that Tim Humble is constantly preaching a new aqidah or manhaj called the Halabiya. No. Come to know. And who is a Halabi? A supporter of Abu Al Ali Hassan Al Halabi. Do you know that I don't even know who Al-Halabi is? Like, I only know about his name. I've never known what the issue was because I've never bothered to care about those uh, matters that are, are definitely a distraction from that which is most beneficial or more beneficial. So, Al-Halabi, who's Al-Halabi? But uh, Al-Halabi is someone who follows Ali Hassan Al-Halabi. <laughs> and who is he? Check this out. It's going to be an innovator. <laughs> Now, he's bringing Muzammir Faqir. Muzammir Faqir. Now, Muzammir Faqir, there's a video of him on YouTube saying that the Sahaba, some of the Sahaba were juhal. Jahlihim, they were ignorant. And it's a slip of a tongue. It's a slip of a tongue. Yet, if you were to take that to the ulama and tell him that Muzam al Faqiri in one of his uh, uh, speeches, he said that the Sahaba were ignorant and used the term jahl and attributed to the Sahaba who were actually mujtahidun. They were exerting themselves and following the Sunnah of the Prophet. This is regarded the three. The one who said that I will pray all night and I will not sleep. And one I said I will fast and I will never break my fast. And one said I will never get married. And, and so they were doing ishtihad in following the Sunnah of the Prophet. They, did, they were not granted success until the Prophet corrected them. So he called them uh, uh, jahala. They were ignorant. That statement in and of itself is enough if you bring it to the same scholars that you follow. They will disqualify him and tomorrow he will be warned against, by the way. So if you want to play the game of bringing a statement of one da'i versus another da'i, then it's a never-ending discussion. It's a never-ending discussion. This whole thing about halabi this and halabi that, and he's a mubtadi' or he's not a mubtadi' and the shaykh said, and the shaykh said, this is all for the, for the people of knowledge, and this is not what the people should be preoccupying themselves with. Tim Humble does not sit there and teach the people the halabiya. He doesn't begin his dars by saying, and I remind you, brothers and sisters, to follow Ali Hassan al-Halabi. And he is one of the a'imma of this deen. And you should read his books and listen to his lectures. He does not even mention al-Halabi. His class is about teaching you about the names and attributes of Allah and aqidah and sound aqidah. You go to dismiss all of this pure salafiyyah. 
that is being taught to the people. Because you can wrap your head around his affiliation or his preference of one sheikh over the other. And how many times have we had this with Sheikh Rabi and Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi and, and uh, Al Jabri and all this, uh, you know, the circle of, of those ulama that eventually went against each other and started warring against each other. How, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? How do you, how do you fix the situation? If at one point you were with this sheikh and then this sheikh warned against that other sheikh, then the, 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 then the people will constantly be lost. There will be no one to listen to. But, yeah, I mean, come on, man. Have mercy on the people, bro. Mm. We're going to skip this part because it's going to be too long. Anyways, he has an opinion that Al-Halabi is a Mubtadi'ah. It's a, it's a debatable matter. It's a debatable matter and he's basically using some principle that even if many people praise him, one person criticizes him, the criticism is uh, taken over. Something like this, by the way, you don't get from a street da'i like Muzammal al -Faqiri. And I like Muzammal al -Faqiri, by the way. I like Muslim al Fakiri. I listen to some of his talks. But at the end of the day, he's not from the ulama. He's not from, uh, he doesn't even claim to be a alim. And he's surely not from the uh, kibar al ulama. So why are you abandoning all the kibar al ulama and, and using the statement of a, a person who engages in, in, in debates in the streets? This is now the, the reference. Why? Because you are cherry picking. Because you need to, to find anything online that supports your uh, uh, animosity and, and enmity towards Tim Humble. The only thing you found was from Muzammil Faqiri, so you bring him to the table. Even though we all know that he's not from the uh, Kibar al-Ulama. So where are the Kibar, especially in the matters of warning against the, the, the Mashayikh? Where are the Kibar? Do you really care though? Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so, not only this, wait, not only this, also, Abdurrahman Hassan follows Tim Humble on Twitter with both accounts. <laughs> this is a joke. Ya Habibi, Wallah Aib, Ya Baba. Ma, we already know that we're all on the same page. Yeah, what are you, what, you're, you're like discovering things or the people don't know any better. It's, it's already been known from day one, from day one, that we are fellow Salafis that have been transgressed upon and oppressed by our fellow brothers from Salafi publications. And I don't know whether you are connected with them or not, and I don't know what's going on. But it, this is old news that everybody knows, Akhi. Just because we don't, we, don't, we don't carry the same card membership, uh, you're going to disqualify us from Salafiyya. Habibi, I've said before, Akhi, Salafiyya does not belong to your uncle or anybody in your family. Salafiyya is not yours. Salafiyya is the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we follow and we follow strictly walillahi alhamd. If you are going to differ with us on a matter that is a matter ishtihadiya that does not give you the right to take the people off the manhaj and create this fiasco and this drama online. Come on, man. Abdurrahman Hassan follows Tim Humble on Twitter with both accounts and both is in, in uh, yellow font just in case it was only one account it wouldn't have been يعني, it could have been weak but with both accounts it's much stronger mm. yeah so yes this was Abu Mus'ab has been this is what Abu Mus'ab has been promoting and uh, wait 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 and here and here's a clip of him well, praising married. wait yeah, I can't your text is too fast. And here's a, a, a clip of him praising both of them by recognizing the level of seniority. Yeah. Without being married to her. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Jackpot all the way. Can you recommend du'at who may explore whor, whor, who are around the same level of Sheikh Abdurrahman Hassan and Sheikh Muhammad Al-Mambal? Allah ya Sheikh. Who you may explore who are around the same okay, level. Okay, okay well... Uh, that's a good question. Who do I think of uh, at that level, that level of seniority? Oh, Knowledge North has been added to the table of discussion. I guess Knowledge, knowledge North is also of the manhaj. Exactly why? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see. What's your thoughts on Knowledge North YouTube channel? Okay. Uh, Brother Abdurrahman is a very eloquent and, and, and well-researched 
brother, mashallah, tabarakallah. I second that. He, he's, a, he has a, he's an ocean of, of, of knowledge in certain areas of Islam. Sure. And I've, I've seen some of his videos and I've mentioned even here the disclaimer that some content needs to be removed. There should, should be no music or no haram. I've, I've made that disclaimer. But does that brother care that I made a disclaimer? Nah. Not generally speaking. Uh, but I really appreciate his his uh, background on on historic historical events hmm? and the Hizb al-Tahrir deviants and the matters of of the deviant groups. True he has that. some really uh, uh, wonderful things to say. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I may have some reservations about some videos, which may have some things that are you know you're, you're better off without. Uh, does it get any more? Uh, does it get clearer than that? Do you want any more uh, in your face attitude uh, and approach more than that? Any any more no water down, no uh, compromise th than that? You see that I don't even if I, I know this brother personally and I talk to him and I appreciate him. But I'm not going to give anyone because of my personal relationship with them any precedence over the deen of Allah. I still call out what I know is not right. But those things don't matter to you brother. Because you're, you're still... Uh, you're still intoxicated with the sectarian uh, 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 venom that you've, you've, you've taken into your body. I pray Allah Azza wa Jal cures you before you die. But I, you know, that's, that would be my only comment. Other than that, it's generally reliable, inshallah, in terms of what he's putting forward of, of ilm. Uh, but certain things, like just like, you know, with me, I'm sure if you ask someone else, they will say, look, Abu Musab is okay, alhamdulillah, but... I think sometimes he's too much. Yeah. He goes overboard in his jokes or he's this or he's that or he uh, makes fun of people. I would say, okay, you're right. That is a valid criticism against me and I would accept that. So something along those same lines can be said uh, about our brother uh, Abdurrahman from Knowledge North. May Allah bless him. Now, this is a big issue with people nowadays. It's a big issue. What is the big issue? Thank you for pointing out the mistakes and thank you for giving such great advice. But, however, I will not implement it. Yeah, where? Where? Where did you uh, give an advice that is valid that we did not implement? How, where did that happen in this conversation of yours? Where did it happen? It didn't happen anywhere. So in everything you mentioned, there was no occasion where there was an advice given and it was rejected. Where we said, however, I will not implement it. Yeah, <laughs> just say anything. We must act upon knowledge. Okay, just saying thank you does not make one's wrongdoing, right? Durr. Wow. No, really amazing discoveries you make. And the problem here is not only the childish humor. Okay, brother. Ah, okay, this is his issue with uh, Abdurrahman. In this video, we, which we won't be showing you yet, yeah, those are things that I agree with you on. Those are things that I agree with you on. Those are the things that were, I was highlighting clearly to the questioner in regards to this. Hoping and praying that, what else do you want? Yes, ocean of knowledge in his Islamic history. I challenge you, I challenge you to, to debate him or to discuss with him, not debate him, to discuss with him the matter of Islamic history. You bring forward what he has brought forward in terms of giving you Islamic history. You are not, not even, a, you're not even a drop in that ocean. So yes, it's a valid statement. And the brother is calling to Salafiyyah. He has an issue? Yes, he has an issue. And guess what? You have an issue as well. And guess what? Every one of the mashayikh that we love has an issue. Every one of the mashayikh that you love and I love, they have an issue. And there's another sheikh that has an issue with them. What are you talking about, bro? Come on now. Yeah, those scenes should be removed. By the way, a lot of us follow these people. A lot of us follow people on Twitter. I follow one of the biggest deviants in the world, Mufti Mink. Because I want to see what nonsense he's saying all the time. And I follow Yasser Qadi. Because I want to see what nonsense he's doing all the time. Following a deviant or following a person on Twitter is not equal to you endorsing or accepting them. Only people like you actually have time and are sick enough to go check who a person is following. Like who, who, who does this? Who, if, if we were not living in, in the modern era, if we were not living in social media, in the social media, you know what that equ equates? It equates like if there's a sheikh sitting in his house and you want to know who the sheikh is affiliated with while he's asleep, you break into his house and you start reading through his books or letters to see who he's, who he's sending letters to and who's sending him letters. And then you say, aha, look, he sent a letter to this muptadir, therefore this sheikh is a muptadir. Majnoon ant, ya akhi, majnoon ant. 
what 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 do you prove by who who is following? He could be follow uh, he could be following anyone for whatever reason. This does not mean anything. This does not mean anything. This is aib. This is degrading to the Salafi and the Salafi da'wah that you actually have time to go check who's following what. Yeah, captain. And this also knows also follows women, both Muslim and Muslim. Yeah, uh, yeah. He could be following them for uh, for ulterior ulterior motives. Whether or not you agree with it or whether or not it is right or wrong, it's not the point of discussion. You're not supposed to be fetching after your brother's uh, mistakes and faults anyways. Nor should you be exposing his... This is a, considered a, a sin, if you want to consider the sin. Why are you exposing a sin? Why are you exposing a sin? Who, do you think any one of us does that? Before I promote a fulan, I go do a check who he's following, who he's not following, who he emailed, who emailed them back. Ruh ya sheikh. Akhi, this is all emotionalism and hatred. Akhi. This is hatred and heart that you need to beg Allah to clean your heart from. And he also likes their posts. Okay. Yani, pathetic, Wallah. Absolutely pathetic. What is even this? Uh. Okay. Yeah, so what? You don't What am I I don't even know who has time to read all this. Akhi, what do you have? What do you have? What have you have you memorized Al-Thalathat Usul? Have you memorized Kitab Tawheed? Have you memorized Juz'a Amma? Have you have you done have you done the basics before you sit there and indulge in all of this, Akhi? Where you're just wasting people time with this useless video 10 minutes and 47 seconds of absolute nonsense? Then it's safe to assume that he agrees 100% with our refutation. <laughs> Allah, you even make deductions on your own drops of ilm. Why don't you make it a gallon of ilm instead of a drop? Allah So we can benefit from your content. Three. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't done. So first it was uh, Abdurrahman Hassan, uh, Tim Humble, uh, Ab Ab Knowledge North. That's supposed to be four. Abu Musab follows and promotes other deviants. Let me see who I uh, follow and promote. Uh, Farid. I didn't know that I promoted him. Uh, one da'wah uh, yeah w what is wrong with that i i don't know i don't know i guess i guess i don't know about uh, deviance enough abu taymiyah okay abu taymiyah i've been following for i don't know how long in recent times there have been a few issues and those issues does not mean that i'm gonna go to my twitter because i'm keeping check and track of everything and follow full and unfollow full and like little children oh he says something right follow him he says something wrong unfollow him follow him unfollow him Habibi, so what if you're following people? You want, okay, let's say that one day I'm going to warn against him. How will I know that he, he did a blunder if I'm not following him, if I'm not keeping track with this nonsense? Aren't you following us to know that we made mistakes? So you're a deviant. Didn't you check my Twitter and check my YouTube? Aren't you subscribed to the channel? Or your, your majesty sits on a chair and someone brings to you the information. Oh brother, Abu Musab has released a video where he prays Abdurrahman Hassan. I'm assuming, I'm assuming good about you that you're not the one sending these bots who ask these questions in order for you to make this reputation video. I'm assuming good that you didn't do that. But let's say you're not subscribed to my channel, for example, how do you know about my content for you to know that I'm deviant? And how do you know that we don't follow others for the same purpose? So according to your own principle, you are also, you should be warned against because you're following people like me and Abdurrahman Hassan and Tim Humble in order to call us out. Ah, gotcha. We, we, when asked uh, about Abu Taymiyyah in a video, Abu Musab sounded pretty neutral and calm. I'm supposed to freak out and jump in my seat. I don't know why he didn't play the audio here. I know that I, I, was, I have major reservations, by the way. Wallahi, this is, this is, I should look up this video. I should look up this video and see what my answer is. Because I know that every time someone has asked me about Abu Taymiyyah, may Allah bless him. I have, I have disagreements with him in recent times, but I, I, I haven't spoken to him about it. That's why I don't make, I don't, I don't make it public. Uh, because I know, I know this brother to, to be genuine, but I differ with him on a few issues. And, and those are valid differences. Those are valid differences and I stand strong by my uh, uh, difference. That said, I am very careful in answering this particular question. I am surprised that there's no audio that shows my answer. All you did is that I sound uh, calm, neutral, and calm. 
Ah, you didn't bother to mention what I actually said. Because, look at this video. Where did that, where Sa'id al-Kamali? Who's Sa'id al-Kamali? He is this, uh, this is, this is how, this is the quality of the video. Yalla, ma'alish, ma'alish. Okay, okay. Zakallah khair, brother. That was really a very beneficial refutation. I don't know where to begin, where to end, really. Yani, what could you have done? Have you not made this video? So many people are going to stop listening to the Aqidah classes and the Tafsir classes and the Arba'in Awiyah classes because uh, I spoke uh, about Abdurrahman Hassan and Abdurrahman Hassan once upon a time said something. And uh, I spoke about Tim Humble and Tim Humble uh, said something about Ali and Al Halabi. And Halabi is uh, you know, this, this long, long chain of uh, guilty by association. Even though we're not aware, for the most part, a lot of us are not aware of all of these intricate details. Because our overall da'wah is the da'wah of the uh, Salaf. But this is something that you probably have not grasped yet. Stay away from Abu Musab and those like him. Jazakallah khairan for the sincere advice for the Muslims and stick to the scholars. Where are the scholars? Where are the scholars ya akhi, that you're bringing forward? Why don't you take our statements and take them to the scholars and get a proper refutation so that we can all take the advice that you give him, brother? I guess you don't have that. Brother, see, this is an example of a lot of videos online that are an absolute waste of time. And uh, be wary of these individuals. When you see them, be kind to them, be nice to them, advise them. Perhaps, I know a lot of these brothers who are on that uh, uh, pseudo uh, uh, exaggerated approach to the uh, way of the Salaf where, where they've turned it into a sect when the whole thing is supposed to be anti-sectarianism but they have cult, cult, cultished it to a point that is really, really painful. When you see them, advise them, remind them. Perhaps they will repent like many of them have repented in the past. To Allah we complain about this matter and had we just uh, uh, joined forces in order to uh, deal with the many innovators, it would have been far better for all of us. And I'm not saying that we're going to agree upon falsehood. It's just that there's no falsehood here that you have been able to bring forth. All these are subjective opinions and, and matters that are ishtihadi, where you cannot say that fulan is right and fulan is wrong. It really depends on which sheikh you ask and when you ask him. Because even that same sheikh can have an opinion today and another one tomorrow. على كل حال سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته